Hey everybody, how's it going? Tech Guy Charlie here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer everything from your old smartphone like your contacts, messages, applications, settings, and all of your photos and videos onto a brand new Samsung Galaxy smartphone. And to do this, you don't have to download anything special. We will be using a built-in feature called Smart Switch to transfer all of our stuff from the old smartphone onto the new one completely wirelessly. Now, the Smart Switch app comes pre-installed on every Samsung Galaxy smartphone. But if you are using an iPhone or an Android that isn't Samsung, then you will need to download the Smart Switch app from the App Store. You can see it is available for a non-Samsung smartphone. And for demonstration, I'm going to show how to transfer everything from my old Galaxy S9 Plus onto the new S22 Ultra. Alright, so there are two ways you can do this. You can either choose to bring your data from your old phone during the initial setup on your new Galaxy, and during the setup the phone actually prompts you to do this. It's totally fine if you choose not to because you can finish the initial setup on your new phone and then bring your data from your existing old smartphone. You don't even need to sign in with your Google or Samsung accounts because they will be copied over from your old smartphone. I'm going to choose the second route and finish the initial setup on the new phone, update all the apps, and then choose to bring all the data from the old smartphone onto the new one. Okay, so after finishing the initial setup and updating all the apps on your new phone, go to settings and then scroll down to accounts and backup. Here under smart switch, tap on bring data from old device. Tap on allow and give it all the permissions it needs and then choose receive data because this will be our recipient phone. And by the way, if you've got an iPhone or an iPad, then you will need the USB type C to lightning cable or an adapter depending on the type of cable you've got. And since we are transferring from an old Android, we're gonna select Galaxy slash Android. And the major benefit of doing this is that we can go through the wireless route, which really makes moving data a lot easier. Alright, so now grab your old smartphone and launch the Smart Switch app. On a Samsung phone, usually you will find it in the app drawer inside the Samsung folder. But for some reason, if it's not there, you can download it from the Play Store. So once installed, launch the app and give it all the permission it needs and select Send Data option and then wireless. And once you do, the phone will automatically detect the new Samsung Galaxy by itself. There you go. Now after both of these phones connect, give it a few seconds for the new phone to search for the data to transfer. So eventually, you're gonna get three options. You can choose to copy over everything which will make an exact replica of your old smartphone. And yes, it also includes the contents of your secure folder, your Google and Samsung accounts along with everything else on the phone including the home screen layout. Or you can go through the custom route and only select the items that you need to transfer. But if you want an exact replica of your old smartphone on the new one, select everything, which is what we are gonna do for this video. And you'll have to manually select the secure folder items, so we will do that and also create a password for it. And once you finish creating the password for secure folder, go back to smart switch, make sure everything is selected on your new phone and select next and it will begin the transfer process. Now because we are transferring everything that is about 45 gigabyte worth of files, it's gonna take a while so sit back and relax. Now once the data transfer completes, the phone will start organizing the stuff that has been transferred over. And you're gonna start seeing changes like dark mode turned on automatically because we had it switched on on the old phone. And you can tap on the smart switch notification to see the progress. Now this process is time consuming and sometimes it may appear that the phone is not doing anything and it is stuck but it is still working in the background. So give the phone plenty of time to organize the data. And there you go, we've copied about 46 gigabyte worth of data from our old smartphone. Now two apps haven't been copied, the file manager and the S translator, most likely because they are not compatible. But nonetheless everything went smoothly and we have transferred everything from the old smartphone to the new one, including the wallpaper and the home screen layout. So check this out guys. 
so the home screen layout is identical to our old smartphone which is awesome because you don't have to relearn or rearrange anything on the new smartphone and it has also copied all of our photos and videos so that is nice and it also looks like all of our apps are also here so yes it has copied most of the apps from the old smartphone and most importantly it has also copied over everything that was in samsung notes now as for secure folder all you have to do is launch secure folder on the new phone and enter the password that you have created on the old smartphone right before backing everything up and once you do the new phone will restore everything in the secure folder that was backed up on the old smartphone so there you go all of our secure folder items have been transferred successfully and lastly, you can see that we are automatically signed in into our Samsung and Google accounts on our new smartphone. And all of our contacts and messages are also here on the new phone. So this is why I absolutely love the smart switch feature. It makes transferring everything onto a new smartphone super easy. Now, one thing you gotta keep in mind is that the wireless and the wired method only works if you've got your old smartphone in your hands. So what do you do if you want to sell your old smartphone before purchasing a new one? In this case, what you can do is take a complete backup of your old smartphone on a USB flash drive and later restore it on your new smartphone. Let me show you how this works. So here I've got a USB type C flash drive, but you can also use a USB type A flash drive, but then you will need a USB type C to type A adapter. And all of these are easily available on Amazon. You also gotta make sure that the USB flash drive has enough free storage to accommodate everything you are about to back up. The one I'm using is a 128 gigabyte flash drive, which is more than enough for what I'm about to back up. But you might need a bigger flash drive depending on the amount of data you've got on your old smartphone. Anyways, the flash drive is now plugged in and once again we have to launch smart switch on our old smartphone and then tap on the icon that looks like an SD card and inside tap on USB storage. And finally, select the items that you want to back up. Tap on next and once again tap on next. And now the phone will back everything up onto the USB flash drive which we can later use to restore all of the items on this phone. Which also brings me to another point, that is, you can restore the backups on pretty much any Samsung smartphone. It doesn't have to be a brand new phone. So this is why I am going to demonstrate on the S10 Plus, which I've already reset to its factory settings. And don't worry guys, the backups are encrypted and password protected, so no one can restore your stuff without your password. So there you go, everything has now been backed up onto our USB flash drive. Now before you remove the flash drive, make sure that you go to settings, scroll down to device care, tap on storage, advanced, and make sure that you properly unmount the USB drive before you physically remove it from your phone. So now let me show you how to restore everything from the USB flash drive. So plug the USB drive in into the phone which you want to restore. Open the Smart Switch app, the icon should be inside the Samsung folder. Now inside, tap on the icon that looks like an SD card. And finally, select the latest backup under Restore from USB Storage. Now to decrypt the backup, you will need to sign in into your Samsung account. And once you do, you will be able to restore the backup. Now it will take a couple of minutes to restore everything, so let the phone do its thing. And once the restore process completes, you will notice that the S10 Plus looks identical to the S9 Plus. Now it looks like the USB method has also restored everything, so you can see the home screen layout, the widgets, and the wallpaper is now identical as it was on the S9 Plus. And all of our apps have also been transferred over. Let's also check the notes. Yes, they are there. And lastly, it looks like all of our photos and videos have also been transferred over. But what I've noticed is that for some reason, the USB method does not transfer over the contents of the secure folder, nor it transfers the Google and the Samsung accounts. Meanwhile, the wireless method does. So I would recommend that you go through the wireless route if you want to transfer everything including your Samsung and Google accounts and the secure folder.
But nonetheless, Smart Switch is such an awesome feature, you really don't have to lose your personal data whenever you upgrade to a new Samsung Galaxy smartphone. And that brings us to the end of the video. Now guys, if you have any questions, you can always ask me in the comment section down below. I will try my best to answer all of them. And if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button to hack the algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy watching tutorials on Samsung smartphones. And as always, the download link for the wallpaper is in the video's description. Alright, so Tech Guy Charlie signing off.